Good morning and welcome to the 2020 Games for Change Festival. I can't believe I'm here. We actually did it. I'm Susanna Pollock, president of Games for Change. We are so thrilled to be able to bring you our annual festival this year in a virtual format at a time when the community, as a community, we are kept apart by the current health crisis. We usually hold this event in person at a gathering in New York City, but we are so happy to be able to welcome a global audience today. Thousands of people have registered from dozens of countries, making this a truly international convening. And it's our largest yet. We are nearly at 5,000 attendees. So thank you for giving us some of your time over the next few days. I hope that we can offer new perspectives and inspiration during these challenges and times. We are all experiencing many hardships now due to the pandemic, economic challenges, to what is finally being recognized as ongoing racial inequity through Black Lives Matter. We hope that over the next few days, you will find inspiration and new perspectives that will help you deal with the challenges we face today. For those of you who are new to the Games for Change community, I would like to take a few minutes to describe our work. We were founded in 2004 with the belief that games have a power beyond entertainment. This belief is as relevant today as it was 17 years ago. Most of it, us are experiencing it firsthand. Our kids are playing games to connect with friends they can't see in person. Teachers are turning to games to help with distance learning. We are playing games or are, we are on our XR headsets to practice mindfulness, to manage anxiety, or maybe to get exercising. Maybe we're collaborating on a new project in VR, or we're stepping into another's shoes as we try to understand how others rise against adversity in places around the world. These are just some of the ways games are helping us get through this time. And so our mission at Games for Change is to empower these game designers and the social in innovators to drive real world change using games and technology that help people to learn, to improve their communities, and to contribute to make the world a better place. In addition to celebrating and growing the community through our annual Games for Change Festival, we foster the exchange of ideas and resources through workshops and consulting projects with mission-driven organizations. We are also committed to incubating new projects through our game design challenges and through executive production. You might not be aware that we also have youth-facing programs where we hope to inspire the next generation of game designers. The Games for Change uh, Student Challenge invites youth to explore civic issues and learn 21st century and STEAM skills through social impact game design. Our newest youth-facing program is Raising Good Gamers, which we are officially launching later today. Raising Good Gamers is a cross-sector initiative which aims to catalyze positive change in the culture and climate of online gaming for youth. So make sure to tune into our session with our partner Katie Salen from University of California, Irvine at 1.45 this afternoon to learn more. A few years ago, we launched XR for Change, an initiative to help grow a community of practice around immersive media and impact, much like we have been in the center of the Games for Change community. This year, we have decided to integrate our XR for Change programming throughout the festival, and I would like to, change, to thank Jesse Damiani for his fantastic work as a curator. You'll be hearing from him later today as he makes introductions to our great XR for Change speakers. So as you can see, we do a lot at Games for Change, and it's only made possible by the meaning, contrib meaningful contributions made by our supporters, including our amazing board of directors. I am so excited to announce that as we grow as an organization, we are also bringing in new expertise and backgrounds to our board of directors. I am pleased to share that Tracy Fullerton, director of USC Game Innovation Lab, director emeritus at USC Games, Amy Morheim, former VP at Blizzard, and Leo Alebe, global partnerships at Facebook Gaming, are all joining the Games for Change board. They joined Dan Ayub, Stan Pierre-Louis, who joined earlier this year, as well as our longstanding board members who I depend on every day. And another way Games for Change is growing is globally. You'll be hearing later today about our expanding Games for Change chapters around the world, but I also want to draw your attention to two international delegations attending the festival this year. We have game developers and industry representatives from Korea through a sponsorship from COCA, the Korean Creative Content Agency, as well as from Malta through a sponsorship from Malta Gaming. 
Be sure to check out their roundtable sessions and games that are being presented in the Games for Change marketplace. Okay, let's now talk about the festival. You were really in for a special three days. We have made an effort to program around the theme of how games can foster resilience, interconnectedness, and well-being. Whether it's part of the Games for Learning track, the Social and Civic Issues track, Health and Wellness, or XR for Change, you will find case studies, research, new ideas, and projects that exemplify how games can make the world a better place. Hopefully you've gotten a sense of how Hopin, our festival platform works, and know that you can navigate to the sessions area for roundtable discussions, the many Meet the Funder sessions, and the interactive workshops. You should also definitely check out the Expo area, which is the home of the Games for Change Marketplace, the Award Showcase, and the Immersive Arcade. And if you feel like making a new friend or hanging out with an old one, you can simply send a text chat request a video call, or if you're feeling lucky, you can do random networking uh, through a match all within the networking area and all on the festival platform. We want this to be a shared space for the mutual growth of everyone, no matter where you are logging in from. So today we want to welcome you, whether you are brand new to the Games for Change community or you've been involved with programming and events with us in the past. So thank you for joining, and we can't wait to show you what we have in store. Before we begin, I'd like to introduce a good friend of ours, Anne Del Castillo. Anne is the commissioner of the New York City Mayor's Office of Media and Entertainment. As a senior member of the executive team, Anne structured and advanced several groundbreaking initiatives, including a focus on the New York City games development ecosystem. Anne and the Mayor's Office of Media and Entertainment have been supporting Games for Change for the past several years, both in our youth-facing work as a theme partner on the DIEI issues with the Games for Change Student Challenge, and for the festival where this year they provided over 35 bus shelter and phone kiosks for promoting the event. We couldn't be more grateful for their support and friendship. For some opening remarks, please welcome Anne Del Castillo. Thank you much, so much, Susanna. It's so great to be here with you to kick off the first ever virtual um, Games for Change Festival. And congratulations on um, 16 incredible years of really pushing the envelope in the conversation around games. On behalf of the mayor's office, I wanna welcome <clears throat> the, um, everyone who's joining us from around the world. Um, as commissioner of the mayor's office of media entertainment, I am responsible for supporting uh, the creative economy of New York City, and that includes film, theater, television, music, publishing, advertising, and nightlife. Um, and of course, digital content. Uh, mine is not a role that exists in many cities, and I point that out because it's important to acknowledge the leadership role that New York City has taken in valuing creativity. Um, we know just how important digital gaming is on so many levels. Um, it's important because it brings us together, as we've seen um, throughout the pandemic, um, it's uh, gaming has been a, a critical part of bringing us to together and connecting us um, around community. And that's something that um, the games industry has known for a long time. Um, it's important because it also showcases the best of creativity in our times. Um, you know, it's, uh, it provides an outlet for people of all ages, all backgrounds, um, young and old, um, and connects people from um, all over the world. Uh, gaming is also um, an important, important because it's a growing economic powerhouse, particularly here in the U.S. Video game revenue in 2018 was 43.8 billion, up from uh, nearly 20 percent in the previous year. And New York State's industry grew nearly 5 percent just from 25, 2015 to 2017 alone, with 970 million in revenue and 13,000 jobs across the state. It's already important here in New York City. Um, we, where we have over 160 established video game studios, um, large and small. Uh, the Digital Gaming Hub at NYU, which was um, uh, the first of three funded by uh, New York State, um, and the highest concentration of artificial reality and virtual reality um, gaming jobs in the nation. New York City is also one of four cities, um, along with LA, Houston, and San Francisco that dominate the esports job market. Um, we are a hub for casual and hyper-casual games, which are simpler and target a wider audience than typical video games. Um, as we uh, travel around, well, we're not traveling right now, but as we are uh, living 
happening increasingly on our smartphones. Um, that is uh, that has become a very necessary form of uh, engagement and entertainment. Um, all of that is to say that I think, you know, we recognize at the Mayor's Office of Media and Entertainment how truly important the games industry is uh, for community, for creativity, for culture. It is a conversation we want to continue to lead with all of you and with um, the folks, our friends at Games for Change. Uh, we really want to uh, celebrate the technology, the artistry, the creativity, and the community that uh, the games industry has continued to fo foster over all of these years. And I especially just want to thank Susanna and the team at Games for Change for reminding us, um, quite importantly, about how jam games can really be an important force for good in the world. Uh, that is a conversation that they have taken a leadership role in for over uh, 16 years. And I'm so pleased to see how many thousands of people have gathered to participate in that conversation over the next three days. I thank you all for being here. And I look forward to seeing what comes out of the sessions over the next three days. I just wanna congratulate all of you and thank you for the work that you are doing in this space. And just say that in spite of all of the challenges that this moment in history presents, I remain hopeful because of you. Uh, you continue to inspire with your talent, your creativity, and your forward thinking. Um, and so I encourage you to take advantage of as many sessions as you can. And I look forward to continuing to work with all of you to continue to use the power of games for good and make our world a better place. So thank you for being here and enjoy the festival. Thank you, Anne. Um, your interest and commitment to games is appreciated by many, and I can't to see how we can work together in New York City in the future. Before we kick off our first uh, speaker, I want to thank all of our speakers for participating. So while I'm in a studio right now in Brooklyn, in New York, uh, recording this, all of our speakers are contributing from their homes. We're going to have an insight in homes from, from New York to California to Texas to, the, to Montreal to Portugal. All over the world, people are welcoming us in homes while they speak and they contribute their thoughts and perspectives on the Games for Change Festival. Um, so thank you uh, deeply from the bottom of my heart. I hope everything goes smoothly today. Uh, this is a live event and this is the very first time we've ever done anything like this. So I, I hope that all of you who are watching can watch with a little bit of patience and a bit of humor as we try to troubleshoot or who knows what's going to happen. But I've got the best team in the world. They've done an incredible job over the last six months figuring out how to put together this event. And I think you guys will be in a, in a, uh, a very, very great place.